Big problem here. Whoa! Whoa. What a save from Fishing Just. C'est un scénario que j'avais imaginé, mais de la faire. Uh... It was also my last chance to uh, to get the yellow jersey, so it's incredible. Garen Thomas uh, calling the crash. Uh... Roglic is down, and that's a terrible moment for him. Loads of riders hit the deck. Today, Pogacar there. Yeah, uh, it was really hectic. Welcome to stage five, the first individual time trial of this Tour de France. 27.2 kilometers between Change and Laval, and a big day for the overall favorites. Julian Alaphilippe won the time trial in Po two years ago over exactly the same distance, and he'll be looking to make up eight seconds to the race leader, Mathieu van der Poel. Wout van Aert is also dreaming of the yellow jersey. He sits 31 seconds down on his great rival, but he won't be giving it up without a fight. Geraint Thomas and Primoz Roglic both have time to make up on Tadej Pogacar, but how well have they recovered from their crashes earlier in the week? The first rider to really... Yesterday's stage winner, Mark Cavendish. The Dane is a three-time world champion in this discipline at under 23 level, and he swept around in 33 minutes and one second. Yeah, it was super, super hard. I decided to give everything after my crash on stage one, and uh, yeah, this morning my coach John Wakefield, he said, just go full gas, and uh, yeah, I did everything I could. Do you think that's gonna be enough for the stage win? I don't know, if it keeps raining, and then maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! What a save from fishing jar. McNulty is having a bike change. I don't know if he's crashed or something. Well, there was, of course, a prestigious stage victory up for grabs as well, but bad timing for Brandon McNulty and Stefan Bissiger, who were out on course when the rain was falling. Bissiger, 21 seconds down. So unfortunate for McNulty there. He doesn't look like a happy camper crossing the finish line. No, 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 but the first two climbs you go full gas. You make the difference. Yeah, yeah, good luck, man. Thank you, man. Hey. Ah, it's terrible, <laughs> like always. You know, you, you watch the television and you can see guys coming close to, to your time and uh, yeah, the heart rate is, is, uh, is rising and uh, yeah, it's a, you feel alive. That's, uh, that's the best way to, to describe it. Catania, the Italian, leans it into the final corner, drives out of it, sprints for the finish line. Is it going to be the first rider under 33? It is nearly six seconds faster. Let's see whether he can produce the fastest time. It's certainly looking like it. This has been a powerful, scintillating ride by Stefan Kung. He's not just going to beat the time of Catania, he's going to smash it out of sight. 36 seconds faster, 50 and a half kilometers an hour. Roglic kicking things off for the favourites with Stefan Kung now in the hot seat. Van der Poel preparing to defend his yellow jersey. Roglic crosses the line, fourth fastest, nearly 50 kilometres an hour. Well, he might be battle bruised, he might be scratched to pieces, but this rider has just produced a fantastic time trial. Well, Geraint Thomas losing time over a minute, the 2018 winner slipping out of the top 10 overall. Pogaccia about to get this time trial started. This is a critical moment in the Tour de France for the contenders. Pogacar obliterates the time of Kung, 17 seconds faster. 
Gianluigi van der Poel is holding position. He started today eight seconds faster than Julian Alaphilippe. Pagaccia has produced a sparkling time trial. It may not be the yellow jersey tonight, but this rider is stating that he is the rider to beat in this year's Tour de France. 18.2 seconds is the winning margin for Tadej Pagaccia. 32 minutes and 39 seconds. It's going to be very, very close. In fact, it might come down to a photograph. Pagaccia is looking a little bit straight, shaking his head. Can Matthew van der Poel pull this one out of the bag? Sprinting around the next couple of turns, he's giving this absolutely everything to hold on to the Mayo Jean, the yellow jersey. Here goes Matthew van der Poel sprinting for the finish line, giving this every single little bit of power he's got left in the legs. He turns around that next turn. Remember the time he needs to be inside is 32 minutes and 39 seconds. He holds the Mayo Jean. I surprised myself today. Uh, I think I have to thank the team. We worked until midnight on the bike to get the position uh, a bit better to save some watts. And yeah, I think I had one of my best days on the bike. Um, I was able to push myself beyond limits today. And yeah, I'm su super proud of myself and the team. The goal was not to lose the time, uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, um, no, I gained the time, so I'm super happy and. Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, excited for the whole tour. Van der Poel digging deep to stay in yellow, eight seconds ahead of Pogaccia. Van Aert moves back onto the GC podium ahead of Alaphilippe with Carapaz, Roglic and Thomas all over one minute 40 back. Cavendish stays in green before tomorrow's trip to Chateau Roux where he won his first ever tour stage. Peter Skelling remains the king of the mountains with the real climbing set to start on Saturday. And this man could do even more damage once the tour hits the heights. The defending champion is sending out an ominous warning to his rivals today. Catch Pogaccia if you can.